Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing the book Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. A non-fiction book that explores the history of human evolution, and the development of human societies. The book covers a wide range of topics, from the emergence of Homo sapiens as a species to the present day, and offers a fresh perspective on the story of human civilization. The book is divided into four parts, each focusing on a different period of human history. The Cognitive Revolution, the Agricultural Revolution, the Unification of Humankind, and the Scientific Revolution. Part 1, The Cognitive Revolution. This part explores the emergence of Homo sapiens and the cognitive revolution that took place around 70,000 years ago. Harari argues that the ability to use language and share beliefs allowed humans to cooperate in larger groups and dominate other species, leading to the emergence of human culture. This part also explores the impact of the cognitive revolution on human culture, including the development of art, music, and storytelling, which allow humans to communicate complex ideas and emotions. Harari also discusses the latest scientific research on the cognitive revolution, including the evolution of human consciousness and the role of genetic and environmental factors in shaping human behavior. Overall, this part of the book challenges the idea that humans are fundamentally different from other animals, and instead argues that our cognitive abilities allowed us to become the dominant species on Earth. Part 2 the Agricultural Revolution. This part explores the impact of the agricultural revolution on human societies and the environment, which took place around 10,000 years ago. Harari argues that agriculture allowed humans to settle in one place and build larger, more complex societies, but also led to the emergence of new diseases and the degradation of the environment. This part also explores the impact of the agricultural revolution on human health, including the impact of a diet high in carbohydrates and the emergence of new diseases such as tooth decay. Harari also discusses the social and economic impact of the agricultural revolution, including the emergence of private property and the rise of economic inequality. Overall, this part of the book challenges the idea that the agricultural revolution was an unqualified success for humanity, and instead argues that it had both positive and negative consequences. Part 3, The Unification of Humankind This part explores the role of religion and ideology in shaping human history, including the emergence of monotheistic religions, such as Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Harari argues that religion and ideology allowed humans to create shared beliefs and cooperate in larger groups, but also led to conflicts and violence between different groups. This part also explores the impact of money and trade on human societies, including the role of the Silk Road and other trading networks in connecting different cultures. Harari also covers how science and technology have impacted human societies, including the invention of the printing press, and the rise of the scientific method and the impact of the internet on global communication and commerce. Overall, this part of the book argues that humans have always been connected to each other, and that the rise of globalization and the internet has made this connection more apparent than ever before. Part 4, The Scientific Revolution and the Future of Humankind This part explores the ethical implications of new technologies such as artificial intelligence and biotechnology, and how these technologies may change the nature of human life and society. Harari argues that these technologies may lead to a new era of human history, in which humans can create new forms of life and transcend the limitations of biology. This part also discusses the potential for new forms of social and political organization, including the rise of new forms of democracy and the potential for a more equitable distribution of wealth and resources. 
Harari also discusses the challenges and opportunities facing humanity in the 21st century, including the potential for new forms of cooperation and the need to address global challenges such as climate change and economic inequality. Overall, this part of the book challenges readers to think critically about the future of humanity and consider how we can use new technologies and new forms of organization to create a better world for ourselves and future generations. The relevance of the book for understanding the challenges facing humanity today. Climate change, the book highlights the impact of human activity on the environment, particularly since the agricultural revolution. It argues that human beings have become one of the most powerful forces shaping the planet's climate and ecology. This is particularly relevant for understanding the challenges of climate change and the urgent need to address it. It raises important ethical questions about how these technologies may transform our lives, and whether we will be able to control them or whether they will control us. Political and Economic Systems The book argues that human societies have always been shaped by political and economic systems, and that these systems have evolved over time. It raises important questions about the current state of our political and economic systems, and whether they are capable of addressing the challenges facing humanity today. Globalization and Inequality The book explores the role of globalization in shaping human history, including the rise of global trade networks and the spread of ideas and culture across borders. It also highlights the impact of economic inequality on human societies, particularly since the Industrial Revolution. These are both important issues that continue to shape the world today. Ethics and Morality Finally, the book raises important questions about ethics and morality. Particularly in relation to the impact of human activity on the environment and the potential for new technologies to change the nature of human life. It encourages readers to think critically about the ethical implications of our actions and to consider how we can create a better world for ourselves and future generations. Overall, Sapiens is a book that challenges readers to think critically about the challenges facing humanity today and to consider how we can use our knowledge and creativity to create a better world for ourselves and future generations. Thank you for watching this video on Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. We hope that you found the summary and analysis of the book informative and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this video, Please consider subscribing to our channel for more content on books and ideas that can help us better understand the world around us.